Thanks, Gordy. You know, wrinkles like wisdom come with age, but not everyone likes them. And last week we told you what wrinkles are and how they're formed and some of the easiest ways to even prevent them. Well, this week our viewers want to know what wrinkle creams really work and why. Well, Dr. Ronald Downs is here to tell us more in this week's Health and Beauty Breakdowns. Good morning, Dr. Downs. Good morning. It's the age-old question, literally. Yeah, do they work? Yeah. Well, you know, I think the ring, any wrinkle creams are designed to improve your appearance. But, you know, there's, I think there's a lot of facts out there that are, that are going to be important to understand when you're out there looking for the right sure. anti-wrinkle cream. You can waste a lot of money. You certainly can. First and foremost, the Food and Drug Administration classifies creams and lotions as cosmetics. Now, to the Food and Drug Administration or the FDA, cosmetics means that they have no medical value whatsoever. And you know they do. Well, they do to some extent. Now, there's some active ingredients in, cos in, in the anti-wrinkle creams that will be helpful to some extent. But the problem is they're really not there in the concentration that you need to get a significant long-term effect. And, you know, the medically active uh, ingredients that are over-the-counter really shouldn't be sold by people that don't have uh, appropriate training to, to put them out there. I so see. You know, there's a couple of issues that you really have to look at. Um, research have showed that there really are some certain acti you know, active, active ingredients out there that really do have an effect, but they can't be put in these creams and lotions at a high enough level to really cause a long-term effect. So, but we have to look at it from the company standpoint as well, because the, co the companies that manufacture these lotions don't want to put out something that's going to structurally alter the skin, put it over the counter, and allow it to be sold by in department stores or on the internet by people that really don't know. Any, uh, aren't pro appropriately trained, the liability of that would be a nightmare. So do we seek these in prescription form? Well, they are in prescription form, but there are also some products out there that have some good active ingredients in there. They might not be in great quantities, but they're there, they're good, and if used for over a long term, will show some improvement in okay, wrinkles and creams. what are those? Cream. Well, first and foremost are alpha hydroxy acids. Those are the things we probably hear the most about. Sure. These have been around the longest. The most common of these is glycolic acid, lactic acids. These have been used since the time of the pharaohs. They're fabulous. And recent studies show that in larger quantities can actually stimulate uh, collagen production in our skin. So it's important to look for creams or lotions that are, contain a decent amount of alpha hydroxy acids. Vitamin A or retinoids, these are things now that you're, we're starting to see over-the-counter products, that, derivatives of vitamin A. Now, tretinoin, which is a vitamin A or retin-A, mm -hmm. is the only Food and Drug Administration approved topical cream for wrinkles and fighting aging of the skin. But and is it works that one of those that needs to be in a strong um, dose before yes. it'll start working? So a don't maybe waste cream. your money on something that's over-the-counter? They're not proven with right. the vitamin A derivatives. Coenzyme Q. Coenzyme Q is something we see advertised a lot right. in anti-wrinkle creams. This is an antioxidant. It's a very good antioxidant. It's naturally occurring. It, re it helps regulate energy production in cells. Now, some studies show that it's really good around the eyes, and it can protect us against sun damage if you get it on your skin prior to exposure to the sun. But again, there's really not a lot of information out there, a lot of studies that show what, in what quantity we need to have this or what to, in order for sure. it to be significantly effective. And the other thing we see is copper peptides. These are the newest things we're going to see. Right. Copper what are peptides. Those? Copper is a trace element that's needed in our cells to produce and, and use antioxidants. When we put that on our skin, we need a vehicle to get it into our skin. That's where the peptide part comes in. And so these are small proteins linked to the copper to get it into our skin. Again, not a lot of information out there as to whether that really, really works. But remember, another point just because a cream is expensive, has nothing to do with its effectiveness. Really? So next time we're going to talk about some things that are a little bit more aggressive, maybe prescription items or, sure. or treatments that we know without a doubt will help with wrinkles. All right. Hopefully that will work. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're going to take your ideas too, so be sure to email us if you have ideas for topics that you would like to see on Health and Beauty Breakdowns. We'll be back with more after this.